That is welcome news to doctors, nurses, or other hospital workers. For months, they have faced the high patient load. They've also faced a growing threat of violence from those who they're working to help. KCTV5's Greg Payne joins us now with a look at what is being done about that. Greg? Brad and Carolyn, unfortunately, healthcare workers facing violence is nothing new, but the numbers suggest an increase. We know that assaults on healthcare workers uh, happen fairly regularly. Dave Dillon is the spokesperson for the Missouri Hospital Association. He says they've been working on the issue of health care worker safety for several years. During the pandemic, some areas have started seeing higher numbers of violence. Cox Medical Center Branson in Taney County, Missouri, hospital data showed that the number of security incidents at the Branson Hospital rose from 94 in 2019 to 162 in 2020. Assaults rose from 40 to 123 during that same period, and injuries to health care workers rose from 17 to 78. Data for 2021 was not available. Those numbers were so concerning, the hospital has implemented a new panic button system that employees will wear and can alert security with a single push of a button for help. There are hospitals throughout the state that use a variety of different systems, everything from uh, those, those alert devices attached to your badge to um, body cameras and surveillance cameras um, and a, a whole host of other things to ensure that the environment is safe. Locally, the hospitals didn't release their numbers, but the University of Kansas Health System says COVID could be making everything worse, but violence against hospital workers has sadly always been a problem. For many years, they've implemented a rapid response program for these situations. They also have de-escalation training for all staff, teaching them how to not make someone agitated more agitated, using tools like body language to calm the situation and then calling the response team. Tools Dylan says are having to be used even more these days. Healthcare workers are, are not universally considered heroes anymore, and that is not only wrong, but it's a shame because they're still doing this work. Uh, they're still saving lives. Uh, they're using better tools than they ever have, and they're, they're saving more people. Officials say if you are a healthcare worker and you have experienced physical or verbal abuse, to make sure that you always report it. Reporting live here in Kansas City, I'm Greg Payne for KCTV5 News.